Hi guys, well as promised I'm going to show you how to use the gradient mesh in um, Illustrator. So really the idea of a gradient mesh is to allow you to colour in item drawings um, with a really um, realistic um, amount of gradients to create depth and texture and form. Um, and um, it can be quite difficult to do that in Illustrator sometimes, so the gradient mesh is a really useful tool um, in that sense. So what I have here is um, a, a document where I've placed this um, photograph of a capsicum. Um, and so that's just a, an image there that I um, got from the internet that I've just placed there. And I'm going to use that as a template to draw um, my capsicum in Illustrator. So um, initially I've gone into um, Illustrator and I've used my window menu to open up my layers palette as well as my navigator window and you really are going to be using mainly those two um, palettes um, today. So those are the two areas that you really want to have open. Initially I'm going to create um, that in image as a template. So it's there as layer one. I can see it there as layer one. So what I'm going to do is double click where it says layer one inside that layer and I get my layer options up here. And what I want to do here is say, yes, I want it to be a template. Now, I'm not going to dim the image because I actually want to be able to see the full image there. So I'm actually going to say, no, 100% um, I want to be able to see. So we go OK. And you can see then immediately that that there becomes uh, that icon there showing that it's a template and that I can, it's, a, it's locked. So I can't actually edit that. So what I need to do now is make a new layer where I'm actually going to start to um, draw my capsicum. Um, so layer two is now going to be on top of layer one, obviously. Um, I'm actually only going to draw a small area today um, just because of time-wise. Um, if I was going to do the full capsicum, I would probably do it in... Uh, two or probably three layers, so I would do this first front frontal area, I would do the back um, bit there and I would do the stalk as separate so that you could then arrange your layers to get that sense of depth, um, but I'm just going to show you how to um, actually just get the uh, this front area. So initially what we're going to do is um, draw a box, but I want to make sure that my stroke and fill are set at the right um, colour. So I don't want any stroke on my box, so I'll click my stroke to bring that to the front, and then I'll go no, none, and then I'm just going to bring my fill to the front, and white is fine, that's what I want today. Um, and then I'm just going to go and pick my rectangle tool up, I'm just going to draw a box approximately where I'm going to sort of place my bit around, about there. That's fine. And what you can see now in the navigator is obviously we can see what's going on in a preview. Um, but what I'm going to do so I can actually see through that box is to go into view and then outline. So what that does is allow me to see through the box. But in the navigator, you can actually see a preview. If you don't have your navigator open, then you are going to be flying a little bit blind. So um, it is really handy to have that there next to you so you can see what's going on. The next thing I'm going to do is use my gradient mesh tool, which is found usually near the gradient tool in the toolbox. Um, I like to have my toolbox sort of a bit squatter like that, but if you have the long toolbox, then it's down here in the uh, the section here with the color, colors and blending tools. Um, so yeah, it just looks like a mesh. So go and pick up your uh, mesh tool, and then I'm going to click directly in the center of this box, which is actually going to sp split the box up and give me some um, paths and anchor points to play with. So there we can see what's happened. It split the box up into four, and it's actually provided me with some anchor points to, to, to use. So I'm then going to use my direct selection tool to um, basically reshape that box and around the area that I'm going to um, color in. So hopefully you're all fairly familiar with using anchor points and Bezier curves um, to draw a shape. Um, if you're not, then this will certainly be good practice for you. So we just start to pull 
um, these in and drawing the curve around where you want. Um, obviously, the, the longer you take over this, the more accurate it will be. Um, I'm just going to get a sort of fairly, um, what I'll be happy with for today, um, just with our time. Also, if you go and have a look in your um, in your preview area, you can see that the the box is actually going changing its shape now, and it's filled with white, and you're getting um, a fairly good idea of um, how you're going, as to how you're keeping with the actual shape of uh, of your whatever you're drawing. It is good, I think, to start with. Um, pretty simple shapes. This one's a good one to have a play with to start with. Um, something like a piece of fruit would be um, a good one to go with. Um, anything too tricky to start with, you may start to get a bit frustrated. So start simple and then work up. So I'm just going to go around the edge here. So yeah, just using the handles and the anchor points to really um, choose and define that shape where I want it. So I'll just try and get that little highlight in there. I'm fairly happy with that. It's a little bit off down here, but we just pull that curve, that bezier line out a little bit so we get a little bit more of the edge in. Okay, so what I'm also going to do, again, and remember I'm using my direct selection tool here, is just to straighten up that middle section a little bit so it's not quite as um, crooked. So just straighten that up just a touch. And now I'm going to use uh, my mesh tool to start adding um, some more lines into my gradient mesh. So I'm just going to tidy that area up a little bit at the bottom. There we are. And to do that, we um, go again go and pick on the gradient mesh tool, and then we need to. You can see you've got a it won't draw a line there, so you actually need to find a line that's already in existence to start adding some um, lines into your mesh. And what you're really looking at is areas where there is um, some highlight and some change in shape that we want sort of a few lines around. So if I start putting the first one in here, you'll see what happens. So it starts to keep with that curve and keep with that shape, which is exactly what we're wanting. Um, certainly down here um, and down here. Now we've got a highlight there, so we want to have that and definitely one there. Um, we'll probably put another cross point here and a highlight area there. Um, we've got a few changing areas here of colour and this one there. Now this bottom area here, there isn't as many, but you will still need it, um, a couple, I think, just to give that idea of a, of a contour happening. So we just put another one just in at the bottom there. So I'm pretty happy with that um, gradient, with that mesh. I think that that's looking pretty good. Um, and basically, all we need to do now is actually colour every section, every anchor point in um, to the colour that we wish. Um, and obviously, we're going to pick that colour up from the actual real capsicum in the in the photograph. So to do that, we want to pick up our colour, um, or oh, sorry, our eyedropper tool. And so we use the eyedropper tool, and we're going to switch between two tools, and we want to do that um, quickly. So we're going to use the keyboard shortcut um, of command, um, and we click that, and what will happen is then we'll flick between eyedropper and direct selection tool, eyedropper, direct selection tool. So the idea is we're going to go over onto our mesh, we're going to press command down, click the anchor point to select it, and then anchor the command key off, we go back to your eyedropper, and go and pick up some of that yellow that is in the uh, capsicum photograph. And then we just keep doing this, command key down, select the anchor point, pick up the collar that's near it, command key down, and so on and so forth. So I'm just going to work my way through this now, I'm going to just make that bit yellow, and the same here with this and here, so yeah, just remembering flicking between command key to select the anchor point, eyedropper to pick up the colour, 
Command key down. Here we go. And you'll find that as you go and you start doing this more, you, it actually becomes quite therapeutic. It's actually quite a nice um, thing to do. And what you'll also see is as you look into um, the uh, navigator panel, you'll see it's actually starting to colour in what was white is starting to be coloured in with um, the correct colours um, to create that gradient mesh and the um, sort of illusion of form and shade and shape that is being caused by the different colours within your um, drawing, or your whatever you are drawing. So we can keep going. Now obviously the easy thing way to do this is actually by drawing around a an object, a photograph of an object, but you can just um, freeform a drawing and add a gradient mesh into it and just pick your colours from the swatches. You don't actually have to do it this way. Gradient meshes work um, the same whether you're doing it that way or this way. This is just a really good way of actually just um, basically copying um, the tones that are in a real object. And uh, keep going. You'll, fi you'll soon figure out if you've missed one because you'll end up with a white blob somewhere in your um, mesh and that will be clearly shown in the uh, navigator panel. So we'll just keep working our way through, we're nearly there. So, And I'm just picking up the colour that is pretty close to that anchor point but if there's any areas that I actually want to be, um, I've just got to find the anchor point there, that's that one, they're all handles. There's the anchor point. Um, having your smart guides on actually is really handy as well. Mostly it comes in default with them on, so you be you usually find that they're actually on already. But if they're not, then you probably would want to make sure you've got them on. Yeah, so as I say, with picking up the colour, I'd be picking it up from specific areas that where I know if there's a highlight that I really want to pick on, um, I would make sure that I'm, I'm getting that highlight um, in. So I'm just looking at my navigator now, just um, reshaping a few areas. So I can see in my navigator that I'm pretty happy with that. I could probably work a little bit more with these highlights. What I'll do is I'll just go into preview so you can actually see it on there and I'll go off. So that's not bad, that's pretty good. I think this area here probably needs a bit of work. So all you would do there is go and find the relevant anchor points that are in there. Um, so obviously that one's a white one, that one's a, a, a paler one. So maybe you might want to choose um, a sort of deeper colour there just to tone that down a little bit in that area. But this one here we could perhaps have that a little bit lighter. So you can see basically what's happening with the gradient mesh is one anchor point and another anchor point for the two different colours that are within that sort of square, it's going to blend all of those four colours together to give you um, a nice smooth gradient. So um, it's pretty uh, clever the way it works. It, um, as I say, it's, it, it's quite good fun to play with um, and you do get quite a realistic um, looking colouring in, whoops, just undo that, um, from just, uh, and it's quite quick how quickly that that, uh, that worked for us, um, it didn't take long and it's definitely worth um, having a play with gradient meshes, obviously as you get more and more advanced with this you'd be able to start doing more and more advanced things, um, you don't have to do it as I said before over a, draw, over a photograph, you can just draw a shape and fill it with a gradient mesh and to create your own um, shape within, within an object using colour and form. So hopefully you enjoyed that and um, I'm just going to come out of application share. Um, so yeah, take care guys and uh, I'm sure I'll see you again.